guys, welcome back to Audrey's Artistries. We back again with another video. So, welcome to my channel. My name is Faith. I go by Audrey, Audrey Monroe. And I just want to welcome you here today. And to remind you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Also, I'm going to place my social media handles down below so you can keep up with me on social media. I've been doing a lot of looks lately. Some have been for YouTube, some for IGTV. So, follow me on IG, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever. Keep up with me and, you know, we can have all this makeup fun. So, you know, it's basically a recreation that I found on Pinterest. I'm gonna post it right here so that's the look we're going for today and yeah stay tuned keep watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button though okay let's get started all right i'm just trying to make sure i'm in focus guys okay so we've done our eyebrows and now we're going to use our eyeshadow base in P. Louise base in Rumor 5. If I keep looking at my off, not looking in the lens, I'm looking at my little monitor so I can make sure I'm still in focus. Just ignore me. But yeah, trying to make sure I'm in focus. I'm also playing with my lighting, trying to, you know upgrade my lighting for my videos so I'm going to take this base on the back of my hand put a dab on the back of my hand and just place this base all over my lid in a little pat pat motion I already used this base to carve out my brows so now we're just, you know, putting it on the lid. I'm using a very small Wet n Wild concealer brush. Yeah, that's what we're using today. So this is the P. Louise base. And a little goes a long way, a very, very, very long way. Once I have the base down, just gonna go in and you know do some blending so we have a nice, even surface. Blend out those edges. So this is the look I'm going for, guys. Right here. So we're gonna start. I'm gonna use these shadows here. I got a couple shadows here. I'm trying to. I'm testing. Hint, hint. Is the cut crease? look cut crease look i know you guys are tired of cut creases but guess what cut creases are for every end okay so we're going to take a little orange color in our crease so i'm going to take this little orange here and we're going to keep it on the outside part of our crease so I got a big fluffy brush. Just gonna keep it on the outside. Oh, that is pigmented, honey. So that's gonna be our outermost color. And I really did not put that much color on my brush so that's the orange color real quick like you know and then we're gonna go into like a little a little a little, little 
mauve color. So we're going to go in with this color right here. That's going to be the next color next to the orange. We're just going to blend those two together like so. I love how pigmented these colors are. It's making me so excited. And we're using our MAC 221 brush. Then we're going to go back with that same brush we had that orange to make sure we just blend the two colors together like so like a little blue kind of like a navy type blue that's gonna be our next color yeah I really am not putting that much color and it's amazing me how pigmented these colors are like dude what's going in love it we're just gonna go back and forth to like really blend those colors in together like so Trying to look at the picture at the same time. And these colors are a little bit more vibrant too than the ones in the picture, but who cares? So cute. So once we have those colors down, make sure we're even. Bother me. Because I would hate to have done this full video and it wouldn't have focused. So now we're going to cut our crease with our Rumor 5 eyeshadow base. I didn't want to cut my crease that high, so you're going to see me fixing it a lot because I did not want to cut it that high. Alright, so now we're going to go in with this shimmer pinky kind of color here and we're going to place it all over our lid we're really going to concentrate that color in the center Okay, so I'm placing white on the inner lid to brighten it up and then later on I'm going to top that pinky champagne color with a darker pink. With those other colors and the pencil brush to redefine them. So here's where I'm redefining those colors in my crease and also topping the pink champagne color with a darker pink. Alright, now I'm going to take 
this pencil brush and we're going to look going with a brown on the outside like so I use the brown for definition to really define that outer corner of my eye and just really blend it out all right now we're going to do our face makeup y'all have seen me do it plenty of times i'm gonna do that put my foundation my primer foundation on and i'll be back to do the contour highlight now boom we done as you notice i did place a baby blue turquoise kind of shimmery color on my tear duct area and here i'm just blending out that contour and highlight as well my own was getting tired, sorry y'all. Yeah. And my camera is about to die. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay guys, we're back. This is the finished look. My camera died. I fully charged this battery. And for some reason, it just died on me. So, I'm just going to tell you briefly what I did. Um, I know you guys saw the eyes so that was the most important part of this video was the eyes because I did this recreation as far as the face you guys see me do this face plenty of times if you guys want an updated face routine let me know and I will do that in the next video so if you like this look hit that thumbs up and also leave me some comments below also let me know what you think of these eyeshadows because <laughs> yeah these are they don't have a brand they don't belong to a brand yet you know they're just existing no names no nothing also this lip too is just existing no name so it's like this caramel nude type of liquid lipstick paired with chestnut and this lip gloss on top it's like a galaxy kind of it's like a golden type lip gloss so let me guys let me know what you think of this look in the comments also forget to like me comment and subscribe thank you for watching i just out of streets bye